How's it going, YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mack here, coach of the Sacramento Saints, slash playing in week four of the BBL up against Tone, coach of the Miami Mala Marlins. You can see our team up above, their team down below, both teams range in speed order, of course, as well as six Pokemon that we are bringing and six Pokemon that I think Tone is going to bring to our match. You might all no also notice that we actually have a couple of new additions to the team, and both of them are coming here. Uh, well, not all of them, because I also got Thunderous Therian. So Thunderous Therian, Blissey, and Machamp, all three of those are new to the team. Uh, Pokemon that I released from the team were Regieleki, Babarical, uh, Diggersby, and Heracross. So a little bit of an adjustment to the team uh, to have these three Pokemon instead of those uh, other four. Uh, and yeah, and then we have Machamp and Blissey coming for this match. Uh, part of them is, uh, I mean, I have Pivot on there and Breaking Power. That's that's part of the idea behind uh, having those two. I think Blissey is going to be a nice pivot for us with Teleport. Uh, just to give us that slow momentum to get into some of our Breaking Power. Like Machamp. Uh, and then I think that uh, we're also going to look to get Solgaleo in, we're also going to look to get Kieran Black in, uh, so that we can get a large amount of damage on uh, some of their walls and look to see if we can break through. Uh, the idea being that if we can break through, like break, so that our other Pokemon can win. That's going to be the idea. I think Solgaleo and Kieran Black are going to be able to pair up nicely in that way. So uh, yeah, we'll see what Six Tone decides to bring here in just a moment. All right, here we are in the match, and uh, okay, a couple things that are different from what I thought was coming. So there is no Guja. There is the Scolipede, though, which is which is definitely interesting to me, uh, just because I feel like I have... Uh, we, I mean, well, I guess I have Waste of Revenge Kill it, kinda. This, the speed might be a problem. And then there's the Togedemaru. Uh So he doesn't actually have a great uh, mod for Spectre if I brought that, which kind of surprises me. Um, he might be relying on, like, uh, maybe just, like, Spidef mods in general. Because uh, his team has a lot of that. <laughs> his team has a lot of Spidef. Uh, okay, so what do I want to lead with here? I almost want to just lead with uh, Machamp and just look to break early. The only issue with this lead would be... Um, If he leads Mew, I probably swap. If he leads uh, Tapu Fini, I probably swap there too. Those are probably the only two leads that I'll swap on. Um, Tapu Fini have a very good switch in with uh, Blissey. If it's a Mew lead, I don't know. I might go Primarina. Uh, yeah, I might go Primarina. Maybe, I don't know. That might be kind of tough. I don't know, hopefully it doesn't lead Mew. <laughs> but good luck, have fun over to Tone. Should be a good one. His team is uh, pretty scary. I kind of wish that I had Spectre here. I just assumed that he would have uh, a good answer for it. But honestly, I don't think his team looks like it has a great answer for one. Aside from maybe like... Um, Scolipede protecting? I don't know. Okay, this is actually great. I have no problem with this. Because uh, I take a... The only thing I don't take is Banded Brave Bird. Um... So I'm just going to Stone Edge, straight up. Hopefully we can KO this, and then my life becomes a lot easier. Okay, we have the Cobra Berry. If he's Banded and Adamant, we just die. I'm going to be real. There's, there's nothing I can do against that one. He's not perfect. This is going to be a straight up KO. There's no way he lives this hit. Unless he is also Berry. Oh, okay. All right, I see you over there, Tone. But you have to be hecka defensive as well. Okay. So options are to swap or just take the hit. Um, how important is this to the rest of my game plan? I don't think it's that imp important. So I could just Stone Edge again. I honestly kind of want to just Stone Edge again because I don't really switch into this particularly well. Um, well, do I? Maybe I, maybe I could just go Prim. I could just go Prim, I think. And if he goes for another Brave Bird, then he'll kill himself to the double recoil. Okay, and he does not swap, so I'm assuming that he just straight up attacks me again. Yep, just Brave Bird again. He should die to the recoil, I assume. I'm really hoping. Perfect. Okay, so we pick up this KO and we don't lose anything. So that's kind of nice. One one less uh, mon for us to deal with. If, um... Hmm. Try and think of what I would... Yeah, I 
think my... Well, it just depends on what he goes into. Honestly. Yeah, it just depends on what he goes into. Um, he could go for Skullipi here. I don't, I don't think that's a bad play. Um, if he does... If he does, I'd probably actually just stay in and try to hit it, maybe. See, that's what's kind of scary here. Because uh, if this gets a sword stance, then I don't, like, really do that much to it anyway. I could flip turn and just, like, break a sash, potentially. Um... Let's see. If he sword stances... Then I don't think I necessarily live a hit on anything, which is kind of a problem. It depends on what his coverage is. I would have to... Yeah, it just depends on what his coverage would be. So the question is, do I flip turn or do I just hyper voice? Because I don't do enough to KO. I think I'm going to try to flip turn. I don't want anything else taking damage from this. Um... Yeah, that, that's okay. I think I think this is fine. I'm okay with losing Primarina just because it wasn't that big of a of a threat here, um, and it was really here just to get some Rocky Helmet trip on some stuff, and that, that's okay. I think. So in this instance, I could just go Solgaleo. I think. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of just going into Solgaleo. And then I could just, like, flame charge. Yeah, I think this is okay. I could just take some damage from this, but... I don't know. If, if that happens, it happens. But I think my best play is just to flame charge. Get some speed off here. And then go from there. Yeah, and he doesn't have to, to go with anything else. Yeah, this makes sense. Well, does it? I should be able to just KO this, I'm pretty sure. It just depends on what his uh, Landorus um, setup is. So seeing that damage... Um, I think it's probably better that I just swap. Question is what I would swap into. Um, and my thought is to go into... Yeah, I think it's probably just go into this. Because I don't think he's going to, um, like, Stone Edge or Rock Slide here. He might have it. Um, but I don't think he's going to do anything else. Oh, actually, just set up rocks. What if I just got the damage there? Because I don't think he's that defensive. Although, I guess he knows he lives a hit. Um... Options on this are to Air Slash or U-Turn. I think I'm going to go U-Turn. Being a little slow on making my decisions here. Okay, there's no way he's going to... Um... What would you do? Maybe U-Turn yourself? I think in that case, I'm just going to go into... Uh... This... No, because if he rock slides, I don't want to take that damage. Maybe I can just go into um, Machamp. I think I can go Machamp. Machamp is slower than everything. Like, <laughs> hell is slower than everything. So, I, I think it's okay to just do this. He does have Stone Edge. Okay. Good to know. Uh, I assume he'll Stone Edge again. I'm going to go for an Ice Punch just in case I can get this damage. If not, then it happens. And in that case, I think, um, I just go Karen Black. Yeah, I just go Karen Black. And even a Stone Edge, uh, shouldn't do enough to KO. It would do a, it would do a big chunk, but, um, I think this is just a chance to drag a dance. Uh, do I want to Dragon Dance? I think actually I'm just going to go for the Eskel Spear. 
Yeah, let's just go Ice Cold Spear. If I KO this, I KO this, but I don't think I need to try to set up here. Yogi, is that you? No, that's you. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, two hits is a little unfortunate. would have loved more, but, you know, it's what it is. Uh, I think in this case I could just go into... Um... I think I just go Angel. Yeah, I think Angel's fine. Just trying to think through my thought process for the rest of this game. I need Angel to be healthy so that I can deal with the um, Beanie um, in a potential endgame scenario. Potentially the Mew also, it depends on what kind of set it is. Um, and uh, yeah, he just goes U-turn. So because I'm physical, I can't really break through the Tug of Morrow, which is uh, a good reason not to have Dragon Dance, right? It's a good reason that I just um, went for uh, went for what I did, essentially. Um, but if I had been special, then I could have KO'd that very easily. So it was definitely one of the debates that I was having on the kind of set that I wanted. Who is this? Um, so... Hmm... I don't have the greatest of switch-ins to this mon. I know I'm faster on Moltres, which is kind of nice. Um, but I'm just assuming a... Yeah, I'm just kind of assuming that he'll go for an EQ. So I'm kind of wondering about how much damage I take from that, because I do not remember. Because um, if he's really offensive, then I probably take a lot. I could go for a soft boiled here just to get a sense for how much damage he's doing. I don't know if I hate that idea. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I just wanna I just wanna know how much uh, damage will he do with this a uh, earthquake. Okay, way more than I thought he would. Yeah, that was a lot more than I thought. He must be adamant then. Okay, if he's adamant. Okay, in that case, I guess I need to... I guess I need to go Moltres? Or can I go into Kiram? And allow myself to take some damage on that move? Because if he goes... Um... Well, how, how important is Moltres here? It's not really. Yeah, it's not really. I think I... Ooh, this is gonna be tough. I don't know how I'm gonna break through that Tugin' Mario, actually. I wonder if it's Choice Scarf, actually. Now I'm thinking about it a little bit more. Yeah, and calling the... And, like, using Stone Edge makes a lot of sense, just as a, a kind of prediction of us switching in to something else. So I think my best play here is to go into this Mon, and then it's probably... So I have two options. One option is hard swap to Soul Galeo on the expected token of Mario. Um, and then look to break from there. Another option is is can I can I deal with Token of Mario? How much damage can I do with Karen Black really? Ooh, land's being a little weird for us right now. Yeah, and if I'd been a special attacking, oh man, that would have been so much better. Uh, so I saw two hits did about 25%. Ooh, he might actually just be, like, Scarf or something. What if I... Hmm. I kind of want a Dragon Claw, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for a Dragon Claw. There's a world he can just stay in, though. And that's the part that concerns me a little bit, because if he stays in, then I don't think I have enough to KO. But I, this would do more to Token Mario than the Ice Skull Spears would. Well, I guess it depends on how many Ice Skull Spears. Yeah, it really depends on how many Ice Skull Spears. Maybe I just should have gone for that. I don't know, hard to say. If he goes into Feeny, then I have to go into Blissey. Yeah. 
See, I two hit KO here, which makes me think that I... Oh, he's Iron Barbs. Okay. Uh, which makes me think that I want to try to go for a Dragon Dance, actually. I'm going to go for a Dragon Dance. He should be faster than I am. I assume that he'd Iron Head me. But I can take that hit. And then I can Icicle Spear. Um, and look to break from there. Gosh, that's so much damage. But we get off a Dragon Dance. So I'm going to outspeed pretty much everything here. High School Spear will definitely KO this. And then, uh, oof, maybe we can win? Oh, he's Scarf. Oh, he's Scarf. I did kind of think he was Scarf, didn't I? Man, I should have just gone for damage then. Wait, does that mean that I can... Does that just mean I can win with this? So I know he's Scarf from the Iron Man. If I just flame charge, can I do enough? I don't know. I'll be honest, I don't know if I have enough to do this. But if I can outspeed with, um, yeah, this may, maybe, I might be able to. It's not going to be easy, that's for sure. Because he just has too many mons left over. Yeah, he's just, I, I think he's probably, he's gonna have too many mons left over. I could try to uh, deal with this Feeny set, but um, the other option actually is I could just straight up go into um, go into this, then teleport. Yeah, I think that might be the better play actually. If I can go into this, because uh, he can't beat the Blissey, so if I go here and I could teleport, maybe, maybe. Trick makes a lot of sense. That's okay. I wouldn't have been able to KO this, uh, so it makes sense that I got a choice start here. And I think in this instance, then I think I just have to go um, teleport. Um, alternatively, I could just go seismic toss. Does that make any sense to do that? It gets damage on anything that comes in. And it stops it from just freely setting up. So that might be the play that I have to make. What are my options? I think it has to be Seismic Toss. Okay. Yeah, so Teleport would have been nicer. Yeah. Oh man, teleport would have been better because so then I would have to activate some real threat on this. Um, but I guess I have to go seismic toss again. Died it. Oh, specs are okay, I guess. Because I guess I just have to seismic toss. There's not a whole lot else I can do about that. So he probably just puts another layer of spikes up, and then I would die. And then he definitely has enough that he can continue to warm me, though. And I don't KO... I don't think I can KO the um, Landris in one hit. It's really just going to come down to what... Um, yeah, what I'm able to deal with. So, we'll find out. Uh, actually, I would imagine that I die to... EQ from Landris after rocks, and I don't do enough to KO. So it looks like he has this game locked up. I'm trying to think of things that I could have done differently here. I guess going for damage on the Togedomaru instead of the Dragon Dance would have been a better play, because I had a feeling that it was Scarf uh, when it U-turned earlier, uh, and that would have gotten around that play. Other options could have been... Yeah, I don't know. What else could I have done here? Maybe not sack uh, the Machamp earlier. Maybe I could have gone into... Or maybe not sack to the Primarina, actually. Maybe that was a better play. Because by having Primarina around, Primarina around, I would have had a better uh, option against the um, Landers coming in. Like, I would have been fine to just swap into that. So maybe going into, like, uh, Solgaleo on the Scolipede earlier would have been a good play. 
I don't know, I think I'm having difficulty trying to get around um, how to play exactly with this team, because I, th I don't think I'm building the team particularly well, um, or taking advantage of some of the strengths of some of my mons. Lose this. Oh, well, I think I just lose to this. <laughs> Probably. Because we'll pick up this KO, but now there's, what, two layers of spikes out? I don't think I can let this just set up. I think I probably have to go into this. But, um, yeah. We're, we're not looking to be in a great position. Yeah, I wish the... Um, dang, I don't know. What could I have done differently? Yeah, I think probably keeping Premier on around. That would, have, that would help me out a lot. Also, just having Spectre would have been pretty solid, too. Because I'm surprised that there was no um, Mon here that could deal with Spectre. Like, Shadow Ball was just super free against what the team had going on. Yep, Dragon Earth makes sense. If he has EQ, I probably don't take this. And I don't think I do enough to KO me either way. So even with, like, a Sun Steel Strike, I'm probably not picking up the KO. Okay, I'm probably going to talk to him about this. We might try to recreate, but my guess is that it'll probably be enough to KO. I'm just going to let him know what my spread is, and then we'll see uh, how it goes. If it doesn't look like it's possible, maybe we try to play it out. Um, but it's likely that this is going to be a 4-0 victory for him. Uh, I'm assuming just with the different moves that Mew has. My guess is that it's going to be like just EQ. Uh, and EQ is probably enough to pick up the KO on both of these months, so I'm just going to ask him if he has that. If it does, then, then he's got it, no problem at all. Um, yeah, thank you for, uh, for sticking around jo and, uh, joining me, joining me for the match. Uh, this is definitely a rough one. I think there's a lot of things that need to change about this team. It just doesn't feel like it's very strong. Uh, so even with the transactions, I'm not feeling, uh, too great about it. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but good game over to Tone. If you'd like to see some more of our content, definitely stick around, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.